Welcome to day 37 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna create a game using Slater app and Webflow. We're gonna build this game on Webflow and then we're gonna use Slater AI to make the logic for us. Now, before you get all excited, we're not gonna build like a GTA game here. We're just gonna build a tic-tac-toe game from scratch on Webflow. The idea here is not to win the game prize challenge. I know there's a Slater app game challenge going on i'm not expecting to win here i mean I'm, it's not very creative tic-tac-toe here it's like the equivalent of hello world but the idea here is to showcase how you can interact with slater ai and build stuff in a very short period of time so without further ado let's see how we're gonna build this game just make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey because a lot of cool stuff are coming on the way so let's get to work all right so as i promised we're gonna build this game from scratch you can skip to the in the time i'm gonna leave the timelines for you you can skip to the part of this later app if you don't want to watch this build part but we're gonna go through the entire process from building to creating the logic on slater so again i'm gonna leave the timelines for you you can go to the whichever part that you want to go to otherwise follow along as i go through this game so first thing we're going to create a page wrapper uh, this page wrapper will have a page content page content page content is going to be 100 uh, svw and 100 svh so it takes the full size of the screen we're going to make it flex vertical center center and then we're going to create a div inside it we're going to call this div tic tac board so this is the tic tac board this is going to be 500 by 500 pixels it's going to have a border of let's say width of three pixels so this is our board now this is going to be a grid, obviously, uh, three columns, uh, three rows, but the rows are going to be one FR, not auto. So we're just going to duplicate these three rows. We're not going to have any gaps between them. So they're just a uh, normal grid. And then we're going to add a div block inside this grid. We're going to call this div block cell and we're gonna give it an ID of C1. We're gonna duplicate this uh, nine times. Actually, we need to change the IDs of each of them. So this is C2 and this is C3. This is C4 and this is C5, C6, C7. C8 and C9 so this way we can identify them next is to build a button so inside the page content we're gonna have a div block well actually let's leave this div block here we're gonna have a button under it also let's go to page content and give a, a gap of two rem so that there's some space between each item so this button will be called reset button and uh, it will be let's say five frames by five frames we're gonna make it flex center center this will say reset and uh, let's make this round so we'll give it like a hundred percent radius uh, we'll make this red and then we will give it a box shadow inside of 180s uh, let's say the distance is 5 the blur is 12 all right and let's say this is 30 percent opacity let's give it another one that is uh, 45 degrees also 5 also 12 and also say 40 percent opacity and also inside so this looks like a button more or less and then we're gonna go to this div block we're gonna call it um, elements elements wrapper 
and then uh, this element wrapper will be 500 width and it will have two text blocks inside it so this is a text block this will be x and this will be class turn x let's say and let's give it like five rem uh, size and one well uh, one height uh, let's give it a font of um, varilla round i like this one and let's duplicate this now this one is going to be also duplicated it's going to be called turn o so we have turn x and turn o uh, the elements wrapper div will have a space between so that these are space between now this is just styling here we're just styling also cell the cell div block we're gonna give it a border around so that it's bordered so now uh, it looks like a game board so what we're gonna do now is since we are done with the build we're gonna start with the logic now I already made this prompt I created this prompt to basically go through the game so this prompt goes like generate a custom javascript code to implement a tic-tac-toe game the game board is already created with a grid of class tic-tac-grid is it tic-tac-grid did we name it tic-tac-grid what did we name it we named the tic-tac-board so let's change this let's go back let's call it tic-tac-board Ah, tic tac board so tic tac board containing nine divs with class cell each cell has an id of c1 c2 c3 etc numbered according to their position above the board there are two elements with classes turn x and turn o below the board there is a button of class reset button and then the game logic so the game starts with the player x when the cell is clicked clone and append the turn x element inside the cell on the next click on an empty cell clone and append the turn o element clicks should only work on empty cells the game should identify a winner if three x's or o's are aligned horizontally vertically or diagonally the game over once a player wins all their elements either x or o should turn to text color green after a player wins, any subsequent clicks should reset the game. Then reset button, the button with the reset button should clear the board and restart the game when clicked. Now let's copy this prompt. Let's go to Slater. Let's launch the app. And let's go to Slater AI. Let's ask this question. Now a request for the Slater app team, please make a way to, you know, increase the size of this box of this model because right now since i have a long text i can't see anything like if, you, even if i scroll down i can't see the button so if there's a way to make this work that would be amazing uh, what i do is press tab and enter and this is basically clicking on the chat with slater button now slater is creating the code for me while this is happening i'm just gonna paste this script in the footer code of my page in the footer section so i i copy this code i go to my page settings i scroll down i go to the end part and i paste this here before closing body tag i will save i will publish perhaps let's publish this game and then let's copy this script paste it here let's close later ai let's just have a look at the script so this script is getting all the required elements everything is named correctly and um, function to handle the click so see it even gives you comments on what is each part of the code is doing so this is checking if the cell is already filled or the game is over so this is uh, the code that does that then here it tells you uh, the code that clones and appends the current element to the cell 
and uh, so on. this is the game's logic and um, yeah this is turning the color to green here is turning the color to green is catching the elements and then turning it to green and uh, let's give this a try let's see if this works let's see if this actually works so one last thing just to make sure that cell is centered centered flex centered centered let's publish again so that you know we have this done so let's go back to our game are you guys ready to play the game let's go so x o x o x i won i won i'm winning let's reset let's play again x o x o well i wanted o to win this time but yeah o x i win uh we're having some camera issues i'm not sure what happened but uh yeah so you see that the game is now working so now o is winning you see that it's working horizontally we reset it's working vertically well horizontally sorry and the previous one was vertically it's working diagonally and as we saw in the first example so this is basically it now we can fine-tune further and we can go to Slater and tell it um, I want to keep score of the winner by adding the number of wins next to the original turn O and turn X elements that are placed inside the div with class uh, elements wrapper now I'm, I don't know if this is gonna work I'm just testing this out uh, let's create a text or let's actually create the text for it so that we can style this so let's create text I'm just gonna give this a zero and uh, we're gonna wrap this in a div block we're gonna add this text inside so that we have this and then we're gonna wrap this also in a div block we're gonna add a text block inside and just we're gonna call this zero so now each of them are zero zero and then um, let's just center this this is going to be annoying if not centered so let's just center this vertically center this is uh, player score div and then here we'll just give this also player score um i want to keep score of the winner by adding the number of wins okay let's just rewrite this i want to keep a score of the winner by adding one by adding the number of wins to the element named well let's give this score o oh, score x and this is score o score uh, x for the x player and score O for the O player the the score is to be counted as per the number of wins that player achieves give me the entire 
code with this new update entire code with this new update and uh, let's just make sure that this is a dot so that it understands that this is the name of the class all right so let's see what we're gonna build here okay so let's copy this code let's paste it here let's close this and uh, let's see I think we're good to go now we're targeting score X and score O so that's good we're starting at zero and then this is where it's updating the score so we're updating the score here let's see if this is working so let's publish the dev uh, now we're gonna wait until the light turns green so that it's saved yeah now it's saved so let's go back to our game let's refresh and let's see if this is working actually where's the where's the o element actually I am the one who is not working well because I did not refresh this or publish this. So I don't have the score. So now it's working. You see, it was my fault from the beginning. So now I have score. Yes. So you see two on O and one X reset. This is still counting scores. Very nice, very, very nice. So this is basically it. You can customize even further uh, by making more on this application or on Slater AI. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, drop me a comment if you have any comments, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Fafla journey because a lot of cool stuff are coming on the way. See you tomorrow in day 38.